after praying, he just whispered. He said, you choose. I'll use you wherever you go. And that is such a friend thing to do. Like your best friend, when you're going out for lunch, your best friend says, you choose. Where do you want to go? And like so often, I think we um, get confused with God's will for our life. And a lot of times, like we are going, God, what is your will? Tell me specifically. And he's going, oh, sweet. Like just you choose. I'll use you wherever you are. And um, in John 15, we see, um, I'm going to read verses 12 through 17. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one life's for to lay down one's life first, friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know what his master's business is. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything I have learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command, love each other. Here's the thing, like over time when we start to abide in the Lord, His will becomes ours. When He teaches us His word and we start to do it and we start to live it out and we put it into practice, He refines us, He sanctifies us, He makes us more like Him. And the closer we become to him and the more connected we are with him the more we hear his voice the more we are able to discern his will and then we can go and live it out and so here he says whatever you ask in my name the father will give you so this week we have been talking about praying for ourselves with uh for freedom and with a heart of thanksgiving and the The place that I have found the most freedom is in this place of abiding with God, of sensing his presence, knowing his will, and going and doing it. Like listen and obey, abiding and then being in his will. Like that is where freedom is found. Um, So I just want to leave you this morning with Again, God is so deep into relationship. And just like any human relationship, the more that we pour in, the greater and deeper the relationship is going to be. If I set aside time to be with my husband and to listen to him um, and to be his person and to be there for him, our relationship is going to be stronger. And the same is true as God. The more time that you set aside the more time that you're honest and that you listen, um, the closer your relationship will be and you'll be able to abide deeply and to know the Father's will. And you will have the boldness and the courage to ask, to ask big and to ask bold because you know you're going to be asking his will and not your own. Your will is going to be aligned. And so your courage and your strength is going to come from him. It's going to be this God confidence. It's not going to be your confidence, um, which is a really amazing place to be. And he says, love each other. Um, You will be known by your fruit. This is going to overflow into every life around you. Um, So I just want to pray today um, and leave us with that. Father God, I ask, um, I just go off of Mikey's prayer from a couple of weeks ago where he said, put courage within us. I pray that again, that you would put courage within us and that this courage would come from abiding with you. It would come from our daily prayer with you. God, I ask that um, this morning's word would just plant a seed in people's hearts that they would grow closer to you, that they wouldn't feel more confident and more comfortable coming to you just as they are, and that you would respond. God, relationship is a two-way street. 
um, relationship without you responding, when without you speaking back would feel lifeless, but that is not who you are. You speak back. So I ask that you would give us all ears to hear you and that prayer would be fun and that it would go two ways and that it would be life-giving and that we would learn to do it out of ease and not out of anxiety or frustration. God, I ask that you would give us the desires of our heart because you are the gift. You are the dream giver. All of the desires that we have, the good ones, every good gift comes from the Father of heavenly lights. God, we ask that you would just align our hearts with yours and that your will would be done on this earth. It's in Jesus' mighty and precious name that I pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, we are having an incredible worship night planned. It's Friday night at Seacoast Church at 630. Please join us. It is going to be just an incredible night together of unity, of wrapping up these 21 days of prayer and fasting. You don't want to miss it. So invite a friend. We do have child care. Um, so we would love to see you there. You are invited. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great day.